sustainability in fashion is the number one issue at the moment. People are really rethinking what they buy. At the same time, we see with designers, they're really rethinking, can we design things with zero wastage? Can we use more sustainable materials? And there are alternatives to products that you and I have used forever that have better carbon footprints. Penutex is a very exciting non-woven textile that's vegan, more sustainable, and can be used in a wide range of applications where you might perhaps use leather or other textiles. It was founded by Dr. Carmen Hossa, PhD graduate of the Royal College of Arts. She specialized in textiles. I got interested in textiles when I was in the Philippines because they are really experts at making very beautiful textiles with natural fibers. The properties of these fine apple leaf fibers were very flexible but strong. I could visualize a new material already. I could see the potential in the fibers, I could see the potential in the skills in the place. I can really do something with these fibers. To develop the vision, I went to the Royal College of Art and Design in London because I knew that that was really the best place for me to really be with creative people and develop the product. Ananasinam was incubated and built at Innovation RCA, the entrepreneurship hub at the Royal College of Art. What we do is we work with students, graduates and staff to help them take ideas and turn them into real businesses. I was actually very lucky to be accepted at the, the incubator and that really gave us the platform, the knowledge, the mentorship, the space as well to be with like-minded people to bring the product into the market. The UK is a great place for innovation and creativity, and particularly in the Royal College of Art. I could feel and I could see that anything that you nearly think of, you have the tools and the help to really make it happen. This is quite unique. Colors. Carmen came to us with some early samples of what became Pinotex, and we helped to build a team, and we helped her to develop a business strategy, and then later on raise additional investment. We run the business with a philosophy of cradle to cradle. A waste material equals food for something else. This is exactly what we do in our business. A waste material from the agriculture, we make it into something else, which is piñatex. The aim of the product is to bring an alternative which has positive impact into the world, impacting the environment, and really a very strong positive social impact as well. And this really encapsulates piñatex. For us, sustainability does not mean only environment. From the social point of view, the sustainability is very good because the farming communities are getting this second income by extracting the fibers. So it's all together, environment, the social, and then we have a material. So it's the whole three pillars of sustainability are embedded. Our products go mainly into the fashion industry, particularly shoes, but also bags and accessories. And then we're breaking into the interior business. This is really very exciting new market for us. It's been amazing to really see how Pinatex has been taken by international brands such as Nike, Hugo Boss, H&M. And then, of course, in the UK, we've got very specialized brands like Lockstra and uh, Paul Smith. And we're already working on a prototype with Tom Dixon. When I first came across Pinatex, I was blown away that you could make a material out of basically leaves. And it was also the story, it was this Carmen story that was female founded, that they give back to the communities who actually farm the pineapples. Everything sort of ticked the boxes for me and it was very much like another company doing what I'm trying to do in the same way. Pinatex, I think, has got a, a very strong backstory, but more importantly, the story is true, is that that material that it's made from is normally a waste product which is thrown away. Then we're looking all the time for more heavyweight materials that have a longer life, because that's the most important thing in sustainability, is that you don't throw things away. When I think about the textile sector, I feel hugely excited when I look at our students, when I look at people like Carmen and the work that they're doing, and I see all the exciting ideas that people are starting to test and develop and implement. And I think what strikes people about the UK creative industries is that it is very unbounded in its thinking. So people dare to think the unthinkable and then implement it. And I think that's a characteristic of the UK creative sector. 
I think more and more people wanting to use piña text is really an answer to our times issues, you know, and we can really see the interest is growing and our company is growing. I think the fashion industry and the textile industry are going the right direction. There is a huge amount of work to be done, but definitely you can see that the minds of people are really shifting from not taking responsibility for a full supply chain and a product to really thinking about it and trying to do their best to shift in whichever way they can.